even if you don't understand a word of what I'm going to say on the next two or three sentences, please stay with me. This is huge. This is very, very good news. Okay, on the 13th of this month, Mark Zuckerberg wrote this on his Threads account. He's starting a test where posts from Threads accounts will be available on Mastodon and other services that use the Activity Pub protocol. Then on the 15th, Adam Mosseri, I guess this is how you pronounce his name, the head of Instagram, uh, posted a long thread on Threads <laughs> explaining the plan. Okay, but there is more. Yesterday, the 18th, uh, Mike McKeel, CEO of Flipboard, posted an article on Medium explaining how he's bringing Flipboard to the Fediverse. Okay, now let me translate all these crazy words and what all this means. Again, this is huge. Let's start with ActivityPub and I'll use an example. Imagine if you could subscribe to this YouTube channel from your Instagram account using your Instagram account without having a Google or YouTube account. And not only that, imagine if you could watch this video from your Instagram account and comment, like, reply to comments and everything else from your Instagram account. Well, this is not possible, of course, you know this, but this is how services that are that use the activity pub protocol work and there are many many social networks and services that already use the activity pub protocol now there is this other word fediverse fediverse is uh, the space where all this activity pub services leave. So it's like a federation of social networks. I can interact with them. They have their own rules. They have their different uh, services. I can, in one I can post videos, the other one I can post tags, the other one images. But there is this protocol, the activity pub, that enables the Fediverse. This uh, universe, if you will, or this federation where all the services can live together. Let's use Monsori's post, Monsori's profile on threads as an example. So if I'm, wanna, if I'm using threads and I want to interact with him, send him a message, we all know how to do it. I would use his uh, uh, username at Monsori and write the message. Okay. Very easy. But if we are trying to reach him from another social network, I have to know the complete address, the complete username, meaning that I need his username and the service he's using. So in this case, it's threads. This is why uh, usernames have a different format to add symbols uh, on the Fediverse. So Monsori's username on the Fediverse is at Monsori at threads.net. As you can see here, I'm not logged. I'm not using threads. Let's go to my Mastodon account. So here, what I'm going to do is paste his address at monsori at threads.net. Look for him. Here he is. Follow him. And if we go to his account, what you see here is exactly the same as he has here because this is that, this one here is in fact, this account here. I'm just reading and interacting with him from Mastodon. I do not have to have a Threads account. Isn't this cool? Are you still there? Are you still with me here? <laughs> There's a lot more to show you. As Adam explained in one of his posts, the idea is to bring the entire uh, activity pub experience to threads, including what, in my opinion, is the most amazing of all features. Activity pub users can leave a service and move to a different 
social network bringing with them all the followers. And he says on one of the posts that they intend to implement this on Thread. This is huge. So now let's take a look at what Flipboard just did. The announcement was about making the entire Flipboard service activity pub compatible. Here again, I, I'm, I, I do have a Flipboard account, but I'm not logged again. So let's look for uh, The Verge. For now, they are just testing 25 publications as the first phase. So let's look here for The Verge. And if we go down here, we can see the latest posts. Again, I'm not logged here. So here's The Verge address on Flipboard. And as you already know, all we have to do is create the Fediverse, the activity pub address. In this case, it will be at the verge at flipboard.com. Again, I'll do it here on my Mastodon account. Let's look for this user. Here it is. <laughs> Let's open this. So the first three posts here, look at this same posts. And again, I can follow them from here. I don't have to have a Flipboard account. In other words, nothing prevents me from following a, a Flipboard publication using Mastodon or in the future follow someone on threads using Mastodon or maybe follow someone from threads on Mastodon, I mean on, on Flipboard or follow a Flipboard magazine on threads. Do you see where I'm going here? <laughs> so the question is, which service should we use uh, to follow all these people that we that we like uh, the content that that we want to follow online? Isn't this a good problem to have? But in the case of people like me who share content online, there's another question to answer: Should I uh, keep all the services? Should I? post on all of them and let the users, let uh, the, the followers uh, figure out uh, which ones I post on and follow all of them? Or should I use a single service, a single social network and post everything there and make uh, the followers' uh, lives much easier? It's just one account, uh, one profile to follow. Uh, the second one, it looks like it's the best one, right? But if you are not familiar with the Fediverse, <laughs> there are so many options already out there. So it's not that easy to choose the best service to use. Thankfully, we can move from one to another and bring all the followers with us. In my case, uh, I decided uh, based on privacy. So let's talk about that. Okay, this is a relatively old post from Eugene, who is the CEO and founder of Mastodon. This is from July. And he posted this after Facebook announced that Threads would adopt the ActivityPub protocol. And people on Mastodon started complaining about that. Most complaints were related to ads and privacy that in a way are things that define Facebook. So he posted this and there are very interesting thoughts here that I would like to share with you. Of course, the links to everything I'm showing here, you'll find all of them in the description below. Okay, let's start from this sentence here about Meta being able or not to have access to our information on Mastodon if we follow or if we are followed by someone from Threads. A server you are not signed up with and logged into cannot 
get your private data or track your account across the web. So if I'm following someone who uses a, a Threads account from Mastodon, uh, uh, Threads, Meta, cannot track me or cannot get private uh, data from uh, B. This is by design. And as for ads, here, by default, Mastodon does not include any functionality to display ads. So since threads have no access to information or anything on Mastodon, there is no way to see ads from threads on Mastodon. This is a very good article. I encourage you to read it. Again, you'll find all the links in the description below. And if this video was helpful, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And if you want to help support what I do here, please consider joining my Patreon or becoming a YouTube member. Thanks for watching. See you soon.